I'm Dalton Weeks. I'm the third baseman. Ben Bombiger, right field. Nick Dell, the pitcher. Tom Eller, head coach. Coach, opening thoughts. Uh, we swung the bats. I mean, that's what it, that's what it comes down to, swinging the bats. And uh, we had great BP today. Hit a couple cars in uh, over at Mesa, uh, over the fence. That was nice. Um, and we were just confident all the way through. That's our backup first baseman, or our first baseman, whatever you want to call him. Um, you know, he, he did a great job. I mean, um, I think he only started twice this year. Um, but he's like that Greg Maddox. He's just crafty, keeps the ball down, keeps it away. Um, he did a great job. I mean, it's huge. Coach, uh, back to that game, pretty good uh, output on offense. You feel like he's kind of starting to roll now? Right, yeah. I mean, we were talking uh, last night, you know, when our top six – Top six or seven guys are all hitting. Um, you know, I don't think there's anybody that can really tame them. Um, you know, Chase was struggling a little bit earlier the other day. Weeks was struggling. Um, you know, Burton was struggling a little bit. We're figuring it out now, and um, you know, we're going to be tough. It's going to be tough. For any of the players, uh, you know, you guys lose the first game and you got out to uh, a deficit to start out. Doesn't seem like really getting behind really phases you guys. No, because uh, we're always going to score runs, and it just takes that time to get runners on base, and we're always going to do the job and move them over and score more runs. Dalton, uh, I think you came in with a hit to this game. Uh, what does that feel like when you finally got a hold of one? Well, I mean, I was just struggling when I got here. I, I was on fire in the two tournaments before this, and I knew it was only a matter of time before I got back into the groove. Oh, yeah, definitely, for sure. Knowing that we have the first, I think our first four guys have like 65 home runs, so that's incredible. Yeah, I got these I got these camos on. I'm undefeated in them. Everybody check these out. I'm undefeated in these. So I had to rock them out today, even though it was hot. Um, but, yeah, undefeated in the camos. Hey, Ben, uh, had a nice series. Talk about what it's been like playing Playing in front of the World Series is truly a dream come true. I mean, ever since uh, high school, I mean, going to JUCO, you just look at this in the schedule and you see Grand Junction, Colorado, and it's just playing in front of this many people. It's a blessing, and uh, our, we have a resilient group of guys, and it's just a blessing to be on this team. Um, well, in the beginning of the game, I wasn't swinging out too many curveballs, but obviously that changed and later in the game because, I don't know, I just think they are good pitches, and then they just – aren't and I make myself look dumb so hopefully that doesn't happen anymore. Um, after the first after the first game uh, starting yesterday and even today you guys have really kind of loosened up a little bit which is kind of different from teams who are facing elimination. Uh, what is it that changed that mindset for you guys? Well I think when we first got here I think the first game was probably as many people were at our games all year combined at any game. So that was a little bit different. But now it's, we have nothing to lose. So we just come out and play Hartford baseball again. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it is. I mean, we, we, we don't have anything to lose here. Um, you know, it's our first time. I, I told some other people, you know, we're young and dumb. We don't know that we're supposed to be playing tight right now. Um, and these guys just go out and have fun. They're in there, you know, dancing and, and, and doing rally towels and, and chairs. I don't even know what that means. So, um, you know, they're just having fun with it. Um, you know, everybody, everybody's having fun with it. So, doing a great job. Another question about Nick. Was he in that, uh, your strategy as far as being the second guy out? No. No, I mean, we just, we were kind of reading what they were doing, and they're a great fastball hitting team. So, um, we knew that we couldn't throw, you know, like our 6'9 guy because he's got a, you know, he's got a fastball that he likes to go to. So, um, or, you know, we're just trying to, at the same time, save some arms as well uh, for the rest of the way. So um, tomorrow, I mean, we'll figure that out tonight. And uh, Nick was just kind of, we knew he was going to get strikes. We knew that he was going to be able to keep them off balance. Um, I was just hoping the wind would stop blowing out at some point. So, um, but he did a great job.